Do you know someone that keeps everything? Photographs, wedding invitations, home movies. What even is this thing? Now, imagine helping the US government sort through all of its stuff. With more than 200 years of history to go through, you better clear your schedule. Because if the records of the National Archives were laid in a straight line, they'd go on for thousands of miles. In over 40 facilities across the country, including a series of man-made limestone caves in Missouri, Kansas, and Illinois, the US government has been accumulating records in the National Archives for decades. It wasn't always this organized. In fact, prior to the 20th century, government records were often kept in attics, basements, and even abandoned buildings with little regard for their safekeeping. Many were destroyed in fires, and floods, or lost. That's why in 1934, President Franklin D. Roosevelt signed the National Archives Act into law. It created the National Archives and Records Administration, a federal agency dedicated to preserving government records with their headquarters in Washington, D.C. With directions from Robert D. W. Connor, NARA's first archivist, teams set off across the country to locate as many historical government records as they could find. Brought to the Document Conservation Lab, they were cleaned, labeled, and stored in temperature-controlled rooms. But with more and more records piling up as the years went by, NARA was eventually expanded. They've curated more than 85,000 miles of film and tape, over 40 million photographs, billions of pieces of paper, including the Declaration of Independence and the U.S. Constitution, and hundreds of terabytes of electronic records. And that's less than 5% of all government records created to date. Generally accessible to the public, these artifacts give us an invaluable insight into the workings of government. Why is it important for the public to have access to government documents? 